Another patent that we have that uh, people ask us a lot about is the non-drive flange. Why is the non-drive flange larger than the drive flange? Uh, historically speaking, the drive flange has typically been the larger flange, and that's generally to get bracing angle uh, once you get around the cassette. And, and bracing angle is important. It's not as important if you control the spoke tension, which we've talked about uh, regarding pairing the spokes. The reason we use the larger non-drive flange is to transmit torque across the hub body to the non-drive spoke. As you apply torque via the cassette and the chain to this wheel, it wants to rotate the wheel. When you do that, you've got pulling spokes. So as this wheel is rotating, you have a pulling spoke, another pulling spoke, and when I say pulling, it's because it's pulling tangent. It's pulling the rim around. This is a pulling spoke. On the non-drive side, you have pulling spokes too. So these two are pulling, these two are pulling, these two are pulling, etc. But to make the non-drive spokes pull, they actually have to, you have to transmit that torque across the hub body. So step one is have a nice rigid hub body, which we do in this, this case. But there is efficiency losses. So over the distance there, there's going to be a little bit of flex. Uh, that happens in any hub shell, happens in any material. We try to minimize that, but what we do is we use a larger flange so we can get a lever arm on the spoke. It gives us basically a little extra leverage to put tension onto these non-drive spokes. The reason this is important, this is a 16-hole rear wheel. If you think of a 32-hole rear wheel, which was pretty much standard, say, 10 years ago, a 32-hole rear wheel has 16 spokes on the drive side. Of those spokes, eight of them are pulling spokes. If you can transmit torque across the hub shell to the non-drive side, you get eight pulling spokes on this wheel, but with half the number of spokes in the entire wheel. So this 16-spoke rear wheel can have the exact same number of pulling spokes as a 32-hole standard wheel. And that's by using a differential flange to transmit the torque. Now, of course, I ask, if that's so good, how come everyone else doesn't do that too? We have a patent on that as well.